Hey guys, join me on this video where we paint rear quarter panel with a bumper local on a solid black, which is a metallic of course. Enjoy. Hello everyone, new video uh, using my Wacom HTE Base 1.3. Uh, you'll see some hand signs in a minute. Uh, just can't get the volume right in the booth, so I'm going to have to be doing voiceovers for now. This new booth is so powerful, but it, the air distortion in the booth is is not good for the uh, microphone. So, voiceovers for now. Uh, this colour is uh, LY9B, a solid black, uh, obviously non-metallic. Uh, they can be quite difficult because they show up every little mistake in detail because there's, there's nowhere to hide. So, had to be really clean with this one but as it is a solid black it's also quite an easy paint job you can see the coverage is massive uh, primer hiding really well uh, nice simple job here I'm just putting on my second coat it's a one and a half coat system and it's just a, a top up really, it's not nothing crazy. Get your first coat on. You want sort of 75-80% coverage of your primer. But this being a solid black, it covers really quick. But I'll still do as the manufacturer recommends. And just put that extra half coat on. Now you can see here I'm just turning off the lights. I'm going in there with my torch just to check, you know, coming from Glazerit, which is a two coat system and then a drop, you know, you want to make sure that you've got coverage. The worst thing is to send the car out and then see that it's not quite covered. So I'm just using my uh, ring torch. I'll put a link in the description for these. These are really good. It's a CRI 95 plus, which is ideal for color matching. You can see that I'm just I'm just a little bit unhappy with uh, that that lower part of the quarter panel. So I will apply an extra coat. Obviously, the ring torch says magnetic. A uh, little tag. I think there's some dirt on the bottom there, if I remember. There we go. Tack cloth. Just double checking the pressure. Like I say, everything in here is brand new, so I'm just making sure there's no, no adjustments. And I'm just doing a light coat here. Don't need to go crazy with it. I just want that extra bit of coverage. It's always better to be sure. I'd rather put two coats on and not need the two coats. Obviously, it being a new shop, I want to make sure that our quality is where it should be. There you go, break out the uh, Wacom fan jet. And just get this dry. It's a nice, a nice light coat, so it shouldn't take too long to dry, and then we'll get it ready for lacquer. And here we have the Wacom Geo again. It's a 1.2. I'm just giving this a light tack over with some air from the gun. Just to make sure it's as clean as possible. Not a big fan of polishing, although I can do it. It's just one of these things. I'd rather have them as clean as possible and then not spend so much time outside the booth. We can just get it fitted and gone. A few nibs. 
light polish. Same as always, two bar. Have a nice look at this uh, GL. It's a lovely gun. You can see I'm not going all the way to the end there. That's for the blend and the fade out thinners. Now this is the first coat of two. Uh, this new lacquer, well, I say new lacquer, it's new to me. This lacquer is a two coat system. One, probably again, 75, 80%. I want a full closed coat, but I don't want it soaking wet, so. Just applying it nice and even, making sure that there's no sort of dry areas, and then I'll come back in and give it its final gloss coat after it's flashed off. And now it's been around five, maybe eight minutes, it's not too long. Uh, obviously depending on what hardeners you use you can slow this stuff right down or speed it up depending on your job but this being a smaller job it was just a five minute flash just coming in with a blend you can see i'm angling the gun away from the paper loop that i've got there just makes my life a little bit easier and i always follow the same sort of route i, I plan it out start from the bottom work my way up and over and you can see I'm just slightly slower here, making sure I'm getting the desired finish. I don't want it too glassy. You know, blacks you can you can get a bit carried away because because it's so reflective. You, I get carried away anyway and end up putting more on than it needs. I want a nice consistent finish, but with not much peel. Like I said, I don't want to be flattening out orange peel and stuff if it can be avoided. I literally want to do a D-nib, polish it up, send it. I always work my way from the bottom to the top as well. I find you can see over the top uh, of the gun as it's laying down. You can just see how much is on a little bit easier than coming from the top down. And then that, this is me just checking, a nice light one over the top. You can see it's much quicker on the gun. I'm really enjoying this clear coat from Standox. It, um, it tends to stay where I've left it. Obviously you can overload it and get runs as with any lacquer, but it doesn't, I've not found so far, it doesn't move that much. So I'm really happy with that. Quick look up and over the rail. Just make sure everything's where you want it. See, a bit more there. Again, using the back of the glove just to check. And now we're gonna take care of the fade out. Fifty seven hundred S fade out thinners. And you don't you don't need to go crazy here with this stuff, you just just get a light coat on there and it, it melts in. It melts the old lacquer, which was underneath the paper, you'll see here, uh, into your new stuff. And it obviously you polish it up and it becomes one with the old and the new. And I'm just blending it in towards the lacquer here.
make sure you're happy and just take a little look over always always check this is now the time to make sure you're happy you know before you put it on bacon you clean your guns out and stuff there's nothing worse than cleaning your gun out and then finding oh i needed a little bit more here or there so just really take the time it it's going to save you a bunch of time later on if you spot something now so thanks for watching